A Goleta man who brutally killed his chihuahua won't be spending any more time behind bars. Instead, a judge sentenced him to three years of probation and restricted him from owning a pet for 10 years. I can't even tell you like the pain that Floyd went through, but I know that it was intense and that I think that the sentence was not enough. Hannah Kusha Jamanchi was dating Kyle Barbre when he adopted the one year old Chihuahua in April through Santa Barbara County Animal Services. She says at first Barbre seemed to enjoy spending time with Floyd. It seemed like pretty good at first. Kusha Jamanchi says she didn't know Barbre was abusing the six pound dog until one morning she woke up in Barbre's home to hear the little dog screaming. I knew he must have been doing something to hurt the dog because it was, it was yipping, it was whining. Um, it was really sad and like I started freaking out because I had just woken up and I didn't know what was going on. Later on that morning, she says she was waiting outside for a ride home when Barbara took Floyd out of the house and down the street to nearby creek. Just literally walks up to me like straight face and he goes, um, I think my dog is dead. And then he goes, I was trying to teach it to swim in the lake and it had a seizure in the water so I jumped in to save it and it drowned. And I said, I thought to myself, no, that doesn't, that doesn't sound right at all. The one-year-old Chihuahua was only under Barbara's care for six weeks. Kusha Jamachi believes if she wouldn't have reported the abuse to authorities, he may have gotten away with killing Floyd. If you see anything in any animal get hurt, what, no matter what animal it is, you know, just like speak up and like be the voice that they don't have because, I mean, that's what I did and, and I didn't even really want to call the police, you know, but I feel like that it was the right thing to do. We tried to contact Barbre to get his side of the story, but he has moved since the incident and we were unable to get a hold of him. Reporting live in Oxnard, Kelsey Gerkins for News Channel 3.